guys, we're going to be learning how to curl with a flat iron. So you're going to need your palmetto flat iron and go ahead and get that warmed up. And you're also going to need your mannequin parted in her halo sections. So we're going to work from the bottom up. I already went ahead and dropped my first section down. Now something we haven't talked about yet are all kinds of thermal sprays. And what a thermal spray does is it helps protect the hair from the heat and it also helps it to hold its shape better. That way it'll last longer. So here's just a couple examples we have at school. This one is a professional, it's a chi, and this is a spritz one. And then this is an all-time favorite. This is a Paul Mitchell called Hot Off the Press. And this is an aerosol one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and lightly spray. And I like to spray on both sides since both sides are gonna be uh, touched by the iron. You're gonna also need your carbon comb. We are going to take one subsection. So this is our section. This is going to be our subsection. It's a small amount within the drop down. That's our subsection. I'm going to comb it. We're going to start with our iron upwards, clamp, and start spinning. Uh, you do not have to use a thermal spray. It's just optional and it's just something I wanted to talk about. So I just went ahead and I did that and you probably watched me do it. So we're gonna clamp and spin. As you can tell for this demonstration, I am keeping my iron vertical. There's actually a lot of different ways to create waves with a flat iron. Uh, so another way would be you can turn it and then you can pull straight down and that can also create a different kind of curl. Okay, so you can see with how a flat iron curl is, it's generally pretty loose. And that's gonna all depend on the client's hair texture, the products you're using, and of course, the type of iron you have. This iron has rounded edges, which makes for a smoother transition as you're shaping the hair. Some irons might not have those rounded edges, which would probably be a little bit harder to do flat iron curls with. Uh, but generally, a flat iron curl is going to be the most kind of natural, soft type of a curl. That so the great thing about having a flat iron in your inventory is because it's one tool and you can make so many different kinds of looks from it. So I like to sometimes wrap mine back up and then let go. And then that can make a little bit more of a formed curl. What you can do is as you're spinning, you can do real loose. And some people don't even like to put those ends in. And we will call that the tail. That's the tail of the hair. So we would curl. And we can just leave that tail out. So once the whole head is done, it would have a real natural look, a little bit more wave and volume in the middle. And it would be a little bit more flatter and natural on the ends. So there's a couple different examples of how you can do curls with your flat iron. And you can see they can have quite a variety from really loose to a little bit more firm to really springy. So go ahead and enjoy trying it out.